What's up, y'all? This girl go my coming at y'all with what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. Um, I got some ground beef that I already browned and I um seasoned it. Now I just put some adobo, I mean some saison, this right here, Goya seasoning on it that come in those little packets. And now I just got it simmering. And I'm gonna attempt to make a quesadilla, my version of the quesadilla. And I wanna give a shout out to Miss Money Baby. <laughs> That's how she say her name. She just made one of these and she had a quesadilla maker. I'm gonna go get me one. And um, but I ain't got it yet. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show y'all how I made my quesadilla without a quesadilla maker. All right, be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and I got me some whole wheat um, soft taco shells. I guess that's what you call them. That's what it say. But um, I got the wheat ones, and I sprayed my um, pan with a little bit of um, olive oil spray, and I'm just going to put it in there. Y'all, I'm just guessing with this. I ain't never did it in no pan before. So I put that in there, and... I got some of my lactose-free cheese. This is going to be dinner for two days. I got to eat this kind of cheese because I'm lactose intolerant, but I got to eat this, you know, the square cheese because... Hold on, let me put that on. The, I'm going to put the meat in first. I got to eat this this individually wrapped cheese here because they don't sell... Um, or at least I haven't seen any lactose-free shredded cheese of any kind anywhere. If y'all seen some somewhere, y'all let me know. But I haven't seen any. So I'm just going to be tearing this up in like little chunks like this. That's all. And um, then we we'll want put some meat on top. Y'all don't ask me how I'm going to turn this over because I don't know. And nope, y'all, I am not a vegan or vegetarian. Yes, I do eat meat, as you can see. <laughs> And I'm still losing weight. And nope, don't tell me not to eat no meat because it ain't finna happen. It is not in me to not eat meat. Okay, my meat lovers, my meat haters. Uh, I guess you can do this without meat. Just have cheese and um, lettuce, I guess. I don't know. But Miss Money, she put hers, she put chicken in hers. But... I already had some ground beef thawed out, so I figured this would be better for me. I wasn't finna throw out no chicken just to do a new recipe. I'll do that one next time, girl. But when she did it, it looked so good. I wanted to eat it through the doggone computer. She had me want to bite my computer screen. I probably, and I was real hungry at the time I was watching too, so it, she had it. She did it right on time. So I'm just going to put my little cheese up in there like that. I hope I ain't cooking that side too long. I got it down low. So, so that's how my meat look so far. Y'all can see that with the cheese and the meat. And I'm going to put another one of these on top. But before I do that, I'm going to put... Um, I'm thinking, mm, should I open this big old thing? Nope, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put me some pumpkin sauce. Let that simmer. I know what I'm gonna do with mine. I'm gonna try some, I'm gonna experiment here. I'm gonna put some sweet baby rays, honey drop honey barbecue sauce on it so I guess this is like the ghetto version of the quesadilla call it what you want it's finna go down and I'm not finna eat this whole thing trust me I know this too much and put the other one on top and I wish I had one of those makers but I don't but I'm probably gonna get me one for real Cause that thing looked good. 
I got to push mine down with my hand like that. So I'm going to, um, y'all, how I'm going to flip this over, y'all? I'm going to push the sides down real good. I'm good at or right, putting my fingers in this doggone pan. Why I can't, why it ain't no, uh, I mean, without no dishes, without no utensils. I ain't gonna learn until I burn myself. But it's all right. You live and you learn, right? <laughs> so, I have pushed the sides down. Let me show y'all up close what I'm doing. Push the sides down with my finger. I probably could use a fork. But that's just too much like right if I use a fork. Well, let me attempt to use a fork and see how that works. Like a doggone pie. I guess it ain't doing nothing, but making y'all wonder. I guess it might be doing a little something, something. All right now, I might be coming up with something new. It's like a uh, big giant pot pie. I don't know now. I might not need to get me no case of deal maker. I feel like I'm a professional. Look at that. At least in my own head. Okay. Now I'm going to attempt to flip it over. Ha, hold on. Let me put this down. See how this going to work. I'm a chef now. If I flip this over like this, then y'all gonna think, ooh, Goldmar gonna come cook at my house. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Heck no. Oh, okay, don't play in the kitchen. I'm gonna lose all my meat. Y'all know my name is not Emerald, Rachel Ray, and it's definitely not. Okay. Okay, this one got crusty, but I don't know what that bottom, that other one made me think it was sticking to it. That was a lie. Which I'll see how it look. Look like a piece of cornbread. Let me try that on this side. Oh, that thing ain't gonna stick. It was just playing with my emotions. Yeah, it was playing with my emotions, y'all. Okay, so. I'm gonna peel it up and show y'all what it look like. Ooh. I'm gonna put some more sweet rays on it, give it a little bit more. Mm. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm in the kitchen creating some. All cause I miss money. Love you, miss money. <laughs> you need to mail me a case of deal maker so I won't be over here burning up my fingers, girl. Okay, I'm going to come back and show y'all how it looks once I cut it up and put it in my plate. All right. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and here is my ghetto quesadilla. <laughs> I call it ghetto because, you know, I just added what I wanted in there with my sweet baby rays. And that's how it looked on the inside with meat and cheese and sweet baby rays. And I used a whole wheat tortilla bread. And that's how it looks. Thank you, Miss Money, for the idea, girl. You made me hungry. Now you see what I'm over here doing. You're going to have me fat again. You better stop it. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Y'all, I just had to come back to tell y'all. This is the business. It is so good. Like, it, you can taste the meat and the cheese. Oh, my God. This is delicious. Mm, I just had to come back. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a winner. I be making these all the time. This money don't you be making no more food videos. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm trying to get me fat. One eighty seven. Mother on that beat. Oh, I'm different.